I know what you're thinking. Madeline, that's just regular camping. People do it all the time. Yes, but I am fully ready to admit that I am spoiled now. This week started off with me driving way too far and to too many places, looking for a spot to stay that had service. Everywhere I went, the service was too poor to use. I also happen to not have my Wii Boost because I don't have any power at the moment, so maybe this is why I didn't have usable service. Either way, I've never had such a hard time looking for a place to stay. I finally ended up at this free campsite that I've actually been to about a year before. I knew it had service for me to work, so it ended up being the perfect spot. I have been wanting to stay at a campsite, so I was really happy I ended up here. I'm not exactly sure why campsites feel a bit like a sigh of relief. It could be that there's a bathroom, but they also come with a sense of security that boondocking lacks. Target haul. Um, first of all, ice. So I'm gonna put that in there after I remove all of my rotten, gross food from here. I got this ceramic skillet, a plate, bowls, and a cup. I got a cast iron skillet oh, with a lid because I've read that you can kind of like bake in them when you heat the lid and you heat the skillet. And I, yeah, I just thought that'd be really fun to try to bake stuff in it. I don't know. I got stuff to make a cheese pizza. Like, look, mini crusts. So I'm gonna try to bake a little mini cheese pizza in my skillet. After putting it off for long enough, I finally cleaned out my fridge. It smells really bad. Mostly everything was bad. You do see me doing the smell test on a few things, but I really just threw mostly everything out. I ended up keeping the condiments and the butter. The mayonnaise doesn't have any egg in it, so I felt confident that it would be okay. I haven't gotten sick yet, so I think it was okay. Thank we're good. It's a nice crisp chilly morning. I currently have my car turned on to charge my work laptop and I also have the heater on. Athena just led me to this creek. a confession i do have a smidgen of power and this comes from my solar panels so ideally how my power station would stay charged is i would drive for a little bit it would charge my power station up and then if i'm somewhere with full sun like the desert it keeps my power station topped off for like you know the week that i have to stay there so that's kind of what my solar panels are used for and what they work well for but since I only have 200 watts, they don't work well from charging it from zero to 100%, even when I'm in full sun all day. Not having power really isn't so bad, but I could not do this long term with no power. But I do know that there are people out there who don't have power 
and do it just fine so yeah so my fridge is currently 